Hello and welcome to Affinity Software this time. We're not in um, Photoshop, we're in Affinity Photo, which is Serif's post-processing software. Uh, and while the lockdown is on, this is half price, so $23.99 at the moment, well worth the money. Um, personally, I use Photoshop most of the time, and I use it because I find it slightly more intuitive, and I'm very lazy, I don't like learning new things. Um, most of the things I can do in Photoshop can also be done in Affinity. You just have to find the workaround. Um, and Tina asked me, she'd watch the Photoshop video and it on creating a border around your photograph and it hadn't translated very well to Affinity. So I did promise her I'd have a look in Affinity and see what I could find. So, without further ado, and please excuse, I've got my neighbour has power tools in the garden outside because it's very sunny. Um, and I've got a fly in the room somewhere, so all sorts of strange noises in the background, but hey-ho, we'll, we'll plod on regardless. So I'm in Affinity Photo, I've got my photograph open, I've finished editing and I'm ready to put a frame on it. Now let's just explain, what you are doing is the same as you would do in photo Photoshop, i.e. you are resizing the canvas and then adding some colour to the canvas. You just have to do it a slightly different way. So the first thing we do is document click document and resize canvas and this little dialog box comes up. The first thing I want you to do is anchor to the middle and the second thing I'd like you to do is unlock the padlock. Okay, if you don't unlock the padlock whatever you add to one size side will be proportionately added to the other side and you don't want it proportionately for a frame, you want it exact. Excuse my chair creaking there. Must, must oil that. Anyhow, I'm going to work in inches because I find it easier to visualise. So this tells me that the size of my picture as it is is 23.23 inches by 15.50 inches. I'd like to add a 2 inch border all the way round. Now just don't forget that a 2 inch border at the top and the bottom is 4 inches overall. Okay, so I need to add 4 inches to this figure. So if I'm on 23 inches now, it's going to become 27 inches and if I'm on 15 inches there it's going to become 19. Okay, so once again check your unlock, check your anchor to the middle and click resize and what that does is adds a transparent border all the way round. Okay, now we need to add some colour to that and in order to do that you go to edit and matte and this little dialog box comes up at the bottom. And at the moment it gives me an awful grey border, that must have been what I was on last time. But you have three choices, you can either, either have your primary colour or your secondary colour, and they are the two colours that are here, up here, your foreground and background colour. Or you can choose a custom colour, and to do that you now click on the colour box and another dialog box comes up. Now you can use your sliders, and you'll notice it starts changing as I move the sliders. Okay, any of the sliders until you find a colour that you perhaps quite like. Or you can use your eyedropper. And to do that, click on your eyedropper, keep it clicked and drag it out over your picture. At this point your border turns to transparent again. And inside this circle there's one pixel highlighted. And you drop that pixel on whatever colour you fancy. So let's just drop it there. Okay. And when I do, it puts it into this little circle next to the eyedropper. Click that and it sets the colour. OK, and if you don't like that, take your eyedropper, take it back out again. Click a different pixel. Better. Don't like that, take it out again. Click a different one. There we go. And keep doing that until you're happy with the colour and then click outside of that box, it'll disappear, and then all you do is just apply. And there you go, you've got your border for your photograph, same as in Photoshop, just a slightly more convoluted way to get to it. Okay, I hope that works for you, Tina. Drop, um, drop a comment in, the, in uh, the comments below to let me know. Um, and maybe we should have a look at one or two more Affinity videos. If there's anything in Affinity or Photoshop you'd like me to cover then just again drop it in the comments below hope to see you again soon thanks bye bye